in my last video, I took you guys to Parker, Colorado. So in this video, I wanna give you guys five reasons why you, sh you should consider moving to Parker, Colorado. So stay tuned so you can see why I consider this one of my favorite cities around in a different area. And I'm Lorraine King with Keller Williams Integrity down in Cherry Creek, Colorado. And if you guys enjoy the videos on the different grid area, as well as the real estate tips and tricks, please follow me on all social media accounts, Lorraine King Real Estate. And you might be moving into the area. And if you are, utilize the number below. Give me a call, let me help you guys out with that. Reason number one why you should consider moving to Parker, Colorado. It is location, location, location. Location is very, very important. Um, Parker is located 20 miles from downtown Denver. Without any traffic, it would take about 25 minutes to get there. Parker is also located to, close to the Denver Tech Center, which is a great area for businesses. This is a hub where there are great job opportunities uh, in the Denver Tech Center. So if you're working in the Denver Tech Center, Parker is definitely a place you want to consider because it's not too far out. Like I said, you're close to Inglewood, you're close to Aurora, Colorado, you're even close to Centennial. Lone Tree as well. Lone Tree is where Park Meadows Mall is located. Aurora is probably one of the most diverse cities in Colorado, so that's where you're going to see all your different ethnic groups, um, like different markets, so like Asian markets, um, the Mexican meat market. So Parker is not too far from Castle Rock as well. That's probably another 25, 20 minute drive. But if you can head to Castle Rock to get to the outlets, which might be 10, 15 minutes uh, from Parker, depending on where you're located inside Parker. But so you have a Castle Rock outlet for different stores like Nike, I don't know, Army, you know how the outlets are. Bunch of stores, great deals, um, different places to choose from. So if I was planning to move into another state, um, one of the things I'll consider is where, where do I plan to live and how far is it located from everything else? So with things in Parker, like I said, downtown is about 25 minutes with no traffic. That's gonna be your, your basic timeline or time frame to get into just about anywhere. Um, like, like I said, Aurora's close, Lone Tree is close. So like the closer cities won't take that long, but we headed downtown or maybe like Gordon or something like that. You're looking between 20 and 30 minutes. Um, so keep that in mind. That's gonna be a time frame. That's honestly a time frame for just about any city in this area. It's 20 minutes to 30 minutes. That's kind of like without traffic or with a minimum of traffic. Um, so that's expect to be in your car for that long. Um, no, no, where you, no matter where you decide to live in a different area. So the second reason why you should consider Parker, and this kind of plays off the location as well. Um, but you have the light rail. The light rail do stop in in this area. So if you plan it to head somewhere that might be a little further out, you can jump on the light rail where you can then head to downtown. Make it easier, so a better commute. You ain't gotta jump in your car, you ain't gotta really worry about the gas and the traffic. Jump on the light rail, go. You know, this definitely comes in if you head into a sports event, you head into a Broncos game, a Rockies game. This is something you wanna consider because you know how it, get, it gets hectic after one of these games. You know, it's traffic galore. It's shutting down the whole downtown. So having that option is great. It's amazing. You can take it to, you know, if you want to go out to eat. If you plan to take the family to, to a dinner, to a great restaurant, you know, you have this choice. You also have this choice. If you're tired of jumping in a car. If you want to switch it up, see something new, see something different. It's a way to kind of focus on your surrounding as you head into your destination. You know, if you're driving, some, sometimes you, I mean, you should be focused on the road. So you don't, you can't really, scan your area and see what's out there and then if you're taking the car all the time you're seeing the same thing you know it's nothing new you're taking the same route so jump on a light rail just to see something different just experience something different you might meet new people on the light rail you know so for the fact that you have this choice it's a great option the light rail is located three miles west of jordan road the third reason why you should consider moving to parker colorado it's the views, the views of the Rocky Mountains. I would say that's, that plays a big part of why a lot of people consider moving to Colorado, is the views. You know, the location of how it's not too far from the mountain towns, you know. So to be able to see the Rocky Mountains from your home, you know, from your your city where, you're, where you reside, you know, so you don't have to take the drive into the mountains or you ain't gotta go further out to see a great view. 
but just from, from the comfort of your home, you can see the Rocky Mountains, you can see the great views, and you know, it's, it's enjoyable. You know, sometimes you just want to take a camera and just take pictures and, and, and share the experience, because a lot of people don't have this experience. Some people, a lot of other states, it's just it's flat. Kind of, see, you know, there's nothing but roads there. You know, so you got to take advantage. You got to be thankful when you have these great views. You know, one of the great things is a lot of apartment complexes take advantage of that. They understand that the view is very important. So you'll see places where they have a rooftop, rooftop access. You know, you, the gym might be located at the rooftop. So where, when you, while you're working out, you can see the mountain views. You can see the top. You can have a great lookout. I remember visiting one complex where they have like a Kind of like a, I would say like a cabana. Um, it was it was nice. I had like the fire pit outside, chairs and everything. A lot of complexes have that. A lot of complexes has have the chairs and fire pits and have have it put together very well. You know, it, it looked just so relaxing and it, and I know it sells a lot for people and it's a selling point for a lot of complexes. So imagine having vacation views every day on the daily. Where you live, you know, you got to pay vacation price to get vacation views. So keep that in mind. And also keep in mind the opportunity to wanting to see the sunset every day. So I want to jump into the fourth reason why you should consider Parker, Colorado. And this, I feel, is very, very important, definitely for all my parents. You know? And if you're moving, you're looking for a place to move to to raise a family, this reason is, should be very important. And, should get, get you going and you know really considering this place. And the fourth reason is education in Douglas County. It is one of the top tier education educational systems in the nation. The county itself ranks two times over the national average of college grads. So the parents here really care about their child education and future. You got a place where they really is dedicated, they're really invested to their child's future, their education, you know, it's it's not just a place where they're just sending their kids off to school and not, oh, you know, what do you learn? It's, they're actually invested and want to know what they learn, actually looking to see how they can improve the system, see how their children can be better students. And there are plenty of school options. So you have your private schools, your public schools that, can that you can choose from here in the Parker, Colorado area. Parents here just don't expect the best, but they're willing to pay for the best. Literally putting their money where their mouth is. They're not just going to talk about it. They don't really go out and make sure that these kids are getting a great education, which intends to lead, a, to, lead to a better future. I'm someone that graduated college. Um, if you guys don't know, I went to Colorado State University, and that's kind of what led me out here to Colorado. And I can tell you, um, college education is very important. It goes a long way. You know, you have that. You have a lot of people that like to say, oh, college really doesn't mean too much or you really don't get too much from it. You know, I beg to differ. I think you do. It's all, it's all about what you get from it. You know, if you're setting out and meeting new people and building your network, you can get a lot from it. A lot of my classmates and teammates that, you know, that I met at CSU, they're doing very well, married, own homes, you know, great businesses, self-employed, or they have high positions in the job, working in the HR, recruiter. So you definitely won't see me on that train, you know, fashion, uh, college education, because I feel like it goes a long way. And from my experience, I think it's very, very important. And if you can get one, get one. So have an educational system that can teach your kindergarten, so all the way up into 12th grade, how to be a great student and really utilize the, the system, utilize your education to, to then turn that into an amazing future. It's important, definitely important. So like I said, this is a big one for me. This is something that I definitely would take in place. I don't have kids at this moment, but when I do, wherever I do settle, education, the educational system would be very important very big to me because I definitely know from firsthand how much of a difference that that can be in your life. Going to college puts you in front of a bunch of different people that's very serious about their future. You know, so it puts you in a room in class. It puts you in a room full of professors that you know that have connections 
you know, if you make an impact on your professor, that person then can help you with connections they have. So it was like the saying goes, your network is your net worth. So to me, college is definitely one of them top places where you can, you can build and really network with a, a variety of different people that's going, in, in a, going into a variety of different industries. So for all my parents out there, if education is big, it's something that you're really looking at, definitely consider partner. You know, Douglas County, one of the best educational systems. Your kids getting a great education. As you can see, it translating over into college. You're two times more likely to graduate college than the national average. Fifth reason why you should consider moving to Parker is to fund activities. This is something you definitely consider when you bring in a family with you. If your city has plenty of activities for your children, for you, for you guys as a family to do, you know, it, keep them out of trouble, keep them occupied, keep, keep their mind going and growing. Here in Parker, you will see farmers markets, uh, weekly festivals and events that's located right in Parker. You know, you have things like the art festivals, food festivals, wine festivals, and you know there's definitely festivals specific to certain holidays. Once again, I'm gonna put myself in you guys' shoes if I'm bringing over family. I got small children, um, teenagers, whatever. If I got children, no matter what, one of the first things I'm considering is education, cover that. And one of the second things I'm gonna consider is festivals, events, uh, so my kids can stay occupied. I don't want my kids just staying in the house. You know, I want them to get out and learn about things. That's the great thing about festivals. You learn about things. You become educated. It's like another form of, of an educational system. You know, you want to be around different cultures, different, different events. Learn about things. Imagine taking your kids to the farmer's market, you know, making it a, a family thing. They get to learn about different different food items, different things. You know, think of all the things they have at farmers markets. You might not be able to see that somewhere else. Or you might not see maybe a certain type of fruit or a vegetable, maybe a, whatever it is, you know. So think if you come, if you're walking down the farmers market, you see some, something interesting, you know, you can then stop at that booth and ask that vendor, hey, what is this? Explain this to me. How does this work? How does this impact us? You know, so I, I think having festivals and events is definitely it's an educational part to it. Then it's a great way to get your kids out the house. You know, you're also being active. You're walking up and down in a farmer's market. You know, you're not inside the house. You're walking up and down. You're getting a little bit of exercise. You know, you might be trying some new things. You might be trying different food items. Think about these memories that it create. You know, I think one of the biggest things is, is creating memories with the loved ones around you. Something that you can always remember, something that you never forget. You know, and a lot of these things that you go through as a as a young child does affect how, who you become and who you are as an adult. You know, how do you raise your kids? Things that you remember that helped you shape you. You know, so these are memories that's, that are being created with these events and festivals. So it's not just about that that moment or just that day, but it's about a lifetime. Think back to some of your childhood memories. What did you and your mother or father, or whoever your guardian, what did you guys do that you remember to this day? That was amazing to you, that helped shape you to becoming the adult you are today. All right, so there you go. That's five reasons why you should move to Parker. But you know what? I'm gonna give you guys a bonus. I'm definitely gonna do one more, another video of this because there's so many more things I did not cover in this video. Like it's so much more I could have covered. But I, I am gonna give you guys one more bonus reason why you should move to Parker, Colorado. And this is this one right here is for all my golf lovers. Parker is home to several public and private golf courses. Parker, Colorado private golf courses include Colorado Golf Club, the club at Padera, and as well as Pioneer Country Club. And you also have Black Bear and Blackstone. So you definitely have your options when it comes to golf courses. You know, so all my golf lovers, if that's, if that's important to you, you have that here. I don't know too much about golf, but definitely look it up. Definitely do some more research on it. But you have that option here in Parker, Colorado. And all, some people might love Top Golf. Top Golf is located in Centennial. So you're not too far from Top Golf. Not a serious golfer. You just like to take some swings. Or you like it as a, a social event. Top Golf is not too far from Parker, Colorado. It's located in Centennial. There you have it. 
five reasons why you should consider moving to Parker, Colorado. If you guys have any questions with regard to real estate in the Denver greater area, please utilize them below. Once again, I'm Orion King with Keller Williams Integrity.